Hey everybody, Mr. A here with Tuesday's Tech Tip of the Week. Today we're going to focus on three tricks for students to be more productive in Google Classroom. Tip number one is to use the topics found in your classwork section to help filter out what it is you need and what you don't. So on the classwork page in Classroom, on the left-hand side, if your teacher uses them, you'll see topics listed. Those topics might be uh, by the unit that you're in or might be by the week, depending on how the teacher has their classroom organized. If you click on the topic that you want to see, it will filter out all the ones that you don't. And then if you want to basically go back to the way it looked before, you would just click all topics. Let me show you. So here's my classroom. If I click on human rights, it's going to only show the human rights assignment in units. But then when I click back to all topics, everything pops back up. One more time, human rights. And then when I go back to all topics. So it's a good way, again, to filter out what you don't need and be able to focus on what you do. Tip number two to being more efficient in classroom is to bookmark your current work. So if you're working on a Google Doc or slide, if you click the blue star icon and up in the URL bar where the web address is, you can then title it and put it on your bookmarks bar so you can have an easy way to access it. And then when you're done with that particular assignment, you can click on the star again and then click remove and it will remove it from your bookmarks bar. So it's a good way to, again, to have quick access to something you're currently working on and then be able to get rid of it when you are done and moving past that assignment. Tip three is to use the comment feature and the at symbol to assign tasks to yourself. So when you're working in, again in a Google Doc or slide, if you insert a comment and start with the at symbol and start to type your email address, it will populate and be able to then assign a task to that person. So this would work with groups too. So like if you were working in a group project and you wanted to assign something to one person and something to another, you could do that. But I often use it as a way to assign something to myself. And the reason why I like that is because you then get an email sent to you automatically that when you click on it, it brings you directly to the spot in the document where you left off. So on the left-hand side of the screen here, I'm inserting a comment that says, take care of this, and I start to type in at Anderson C, and then I can click my name, check the assign to you, and then click save, and it's going to then send me an email. On the right side of the screen here, here's a screenshot of part of the email, and when I click on this, it actually brings me directly to and opens up that file. So it's a good way, again, to stop having to look through your email or even Google Classroom to find something and get there in just one click. So these are three tricks to help you be more productive in Google Classroom. For Tuesday Tech Tip of the Week, I'm Mr. A.